All right, so um, guys, I'm going to be very, very proud and, and speaking about um, who's going to be doing our national anthem. What we have, who we have with us is Miss Niaja Harris. Niaja Harris is a class of 2015 graduate. Um, some of her things that she has done, first of all, she graduated from Fallsburg. She went on, did two years over at Ock, which I'm very proud of as well. And then she finished up her next two years over at SUNY Purchase. Um, Niaja has released her first single in 2017. In 2018, she was on the radio 105.1, which is one of the big New York stations. Um, her single was made available through digital streaming August 1st, 2018. In 2020, she released her single Dance With Me. Um, she has worked with some of the legendary in a tribute. Um, one of the artists that just passed away, DMX, uh, Richie Stevens, uh, Grand Slam Allen. She has worked with multiple, multiple people in tributes and singing. And it is my great pleasure and honor. And I will always say one of my star basketball athletes because she put two division titles on the wall in Fallsburg. I will always be indebted to her for that. I'm going to, we're all going to please stand and ask Miss Niaja Harris to please sing our national anthem. Mm -hmm. I'll mute myself, Niaja. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hail at the twilight last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rain. Parts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rock is right The bombs burst, in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Or the land Asia, that was absolutely amazing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so, so much. No, um, great. Thank you. Th thank you so much. I would love to introduce our wonderful assistant superintendent for the Fallsburg Central School District, Dr. Sharkey. Hey, good morning, everyone. Naisha, I am blown away. That was truly amazing. I can't wait just to watch your rise right to the top because you are going there that is just i am so i'm so blown away right now i got goosebumps so thank you for that we should start every day like that i think so um i'm also honored to be here this morning because one of my favorite things to do is to recognize students people for things that they do and accomplishments they've made so good morning i'm looking forward to hearing all about you guys um, welcome, and I'll turn it over to Mr. Roddy. Thank you, Dr. Sharkey. Good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the entire junior, senior high school, I just want to say how excited we are for each and every one of you. 
each of our student honorees today has shown some degree of progress this year, turning it around. And that's such an important life skill. You know, we, we make decisions throughout our lives and sometimes we make good decisions. Sometimes we make not so great decisions, but any given point, we can turn things around and any given point, even if we haven't been passing in the past, we can take decisions and actions to be passing in the future and to excel in the future. And that's what every one of you guys have done. You are now on a roll because you've made the decision to step up that game, to get support where needed. And you've also had that support from an incredible group of teachers and other faculty members and other individuals inside and outside school. So we just wanna say, keep up the great work. We are so proud of you. And we know that you are gonna keep on succeeding, achieving, for the rest of this year and for the rest of your time at the junior senior high school. I want to thank the teachers who nominated and recognized these individuals. And of course, I want to thank PBIS for organizing today's events. So thank you very much for everything. And we can't wait to hear about all your individual achievements. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sharkey and Mr. Roddy. Okay, we are now going to get right into it. We're going to get into the presentations. As you guys see, uh, some of your teachers are here. Um, if a teacher that is nominating student is not here between myself and Mr. Mullen, we will read it and we will take an applause after for you. So please take an applause. If your parents are somewhere there, please allow them to come and join you right next to you on the meet. So our first certificates. Oh, we'll go to that. I'll thank everybody in a minute. Oh, let me do that now. Guys, I forgot. Um, just wanna thank everybody, like uh, Mr. Roddy said, we wanna thank that Board of Education Dr. Katz, Dr. Sharkey, the district office, teachers, teaching assistants, teachers aides, custodians, cafeteria staff, and staff members, parents, families, Fallsburg community. And of course, this wouldn't be possible without you as our students, okay? So, Mr. Cordero, you are on the plate first. I will mute myself and you can unmute and talk about your student you nominated. Okay, so. The student I'm nominating, which is uh, Herman Romero Madrid, uh, has made a lot of tremendous growth between the between the second, third, and now fourth quarter. Uh, uh, Herman in the beginning uh, did struggle quite a bit with Mike class and and he really stepped it up to the plate, and he even got a hundred for his progress report grade, and I'm very proud of him and. I'm very excited to see where he goes. So come on, you're on a roll. Congratulations. And I'm very proud to have you as my student. All right, everyone, let's please clap it up for Herman Romero, Madrid. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Cordero. You got it started off to a wonderful start. Thank you. Our next, I think, oh, there she is. And Mrs. Scano, would you like to say the person that you nominated? Sure, I am very honored to um, say that Xavier Curry is one of my most stellar speech students. He is always ready to learn, camera ready, always willing to make up missed sessions. He'll contact me via email. So he's just a remarkable student and he should be very proud. His parents should be very proud and I know Fallsburg is proud of him. Great job, Xavier. Thank you very much, Ms. Curry. I mean, thank you, Ms. Curry, Ms. Scanna. <laughs> Mr. Curry, thank you. <laughs> All right. Mr. Cordero, this is actually nominated by two students. So if you want to speak a little bit about Kimberlyn, I'm not sure. Oh, Ms. Range said she couldn't make it today. So, Mr. Cordero, you could talk about Kimberlyn. Oh, good. Okay. So, so again, uh, with Kimberlyn, she has improved pretty drastically over the last, uh, over the last two quarters. Uh, She's very, she's a very positive influence in my classroom. And again, I'm very proud to have her as my student. She has also shown some growth. So she's just a wonderful person to be around with. And she always brings positive vibes to the class. So, Kimberly, felicidades. Usted merece esto. And I'll read a little bit um, just about what Ms. Range wrote. In ELA, she has increased her efforts to have a successful conclusion to her school year. 
She's an active participant and has a positive influence during class meetings. So Kimberlyn, we congratulate you for everything that you have done. All right, our next person, Ms. Giordano, this is your student that you nominated. So Bobby is a seventh grader this year, uh, and although he has been remote all year, his contributions to our class discussions have been awesome. He asks interesting questions, um, and even if tasks are challenging for him or he's having a difficult day, he finds a way to work through that, um, and he's maintained awesome grades this year um, and is a really active participant and just a great uh, contribution to our class. All right, everybody, let's pop it up for Robert Berman. Oh, another one, Mr. Cordero, another student of yours, sir. The floor is yours. Okay, uh, so, so Jason has drastically improved over the last quarter for certain. Uh, he was somebody that was really struggling with understanding the material and getting his work done on time. And one day he just asked me what he can do to improve the grade. And from there, he's just, he's just been on it. And he's been on fire this quarter as well. So he's gotten some pretty awesome grades and he's also a very active participant in my class. So I'm very proud to have Jason as my student. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Mr. Cordero. Congratulations, Jason. Our next student, actually, Mr. Mullen, I'm gonna turn this over to you. Ms. Halakai said she couldn't make it, so the floor is yours, sir. All right, so on behalf of Ms. Halakai, Catherine, um, we wanna congratulate you for being on a roll. Um, you've been nominated by Ms. Halakai because you're always completing your work. You participate in class and never hesitate to help out. And that's just a, perfect recipe for a student to be able to be successful and continue to go um, and, and create good things for yourself. So great job, Catherine, and uh, keep up the good work. Congratulations, Catherine. Congratulations. Is Ms. Lamas, Ms. Lamas, are you here? I don't see everybody. Ms. Lamas, are you here? She said she was going to be here. I, no. Okay. So, Marcos Reyes Monjeres was nominated by Ms. Lamas because he is always very attentive and participates every day using his camera and microphone in Google Meets. Let's please clap it up for Marcos Reyes Monjeres. Next one, Mr. Mullen, if you would like to do this one, this set for sure. Ms. Al please. Well, I've had the pleasure of meeting Asley last year, and but on behalf of Ms. Alzate, um, Asley, you've been nominated because you show learning during this pandemic has not been easy, but you've been having a lot of determination. She specifically likes that Asley reaches out for help when she needs it. Keep up the good work, Asley. It's what you need. If you need help, you reach out and you get it. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Mullen. Next, another one, Julissa Pineda. Um, I'll speak for Ms. Alzate. She was nominated by Ms. Alzate because she is extremely proud of Julissa for the effort she applies to her schoolwork. She is consistent with her assignments as well as her attendance. I am very proud of you, Julissa. Let's give a round of applause for Julissa Pineda. Next, Mr. Mullen, would you like to talk about Natalie for Miss Scully? Absolutely. So Natalie, Miss Scully nominated you for honor roll because um, the progress you have made over the past 10 plus weeks, you have gone from a student who rarely came to class to class meets to someone who is always in class and you're actively participating. Um, Natalie's grades have gone from failing to passing with flying colors. So that is awesome. Um, you become a conscientious student, you ask for help, and you come to class after school, and you've been a pleasure to have in, in class, and, and that's awesome. So good job, Natalie. Keep up the good work. Next, 
next person would be like, oh, Miss Meeker was having some internet issues as she emailed this, so she asked if we could do it for her. She had all intentions on being here. Um, Natalie Zepakalateka, I always mess up brother's name, Ryan, who I've had, so I did my best to do it. But um, she was nominated by Miss Meeker because she is always present and engaged in Spanish class. She makes frequent contributions and comes on time every day with a positive attitude. Natalie makes our class a better place to be first thing in the morning. Let's hear it up for Natalie, please. Our next, Mr. Mullen, back to you. Miss Range had a meeting, so you can take this one, please. Absolutely. So, Yeliana, on behalf of Miss Range, she chose you as a student because you've been very active participant in her class throughout the whole school year. She's always uh, and always a positive contributor. Little, 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 excuse me. Always a positive contributor to class discussions. And recently, she's worked to improve um, her task completion in class. So, great job, uh, Yeliana, and keep up the good work. Okay, our next person, actually. I can definitely second this one. He's a player on the baseball team. This is Mr. Alexander Crusetta. Um, he was nominated by Miss Range because he has increased his effort in class. This includes completing assignments, <clears throat> asking questions that expand class discussions, and offering help to his peers. Just to tell you a little bit something quickly about this young man. This is a young man that got hurt during our one of our first baseball practices where he pr probably couldn't have come back to another practice at all. He went to the doctor multiple times to make it back to practices. He currently can't practice, but he's been at every meet, everything. This is the character that this young man does, and he's a wonderful young man, and I'm proud to say that I get to coach him, hopefully for the years to come to the future. So let's please hear it up for Mr. Alexander Crusetta. Mr. Mullen, would you like to talk about Lucas Parisi? Absolutely. Lucas, uh, who I also know, um, was nominated by Miss Martin because Lucas has been doing a phenomenal job staying on top of his work and keeping up his grades, even when life is tough. Um, she's so incredibly proud of him for ju um, juggling all that's on his plate. You are, you are maturing into a wonderful young man, Lucas, so great work and keep it up. Good job, Lucas. For Ms. Martin, I'll talk about Efren Rosales Charuk. All right, he was nominated by Ms. Martin because he has improved every quarter so far this year. He is working hard to get all his assignments done and redoing anything he isn't happy with. I know how challenging it must be learning online but Efren is rising to the challenge. Great work. Let's give a round of applause for Efren Rosales. Okay, Mr. Mullen, I'll turn this one back over to you, sir. All right, so nominated by Ms. Verdi is Joseph Melendez because he has been putting forth great effort on all of his assignments. So Joseph, Keep it up, keep working hard, and great job. All right, next person here. I know she is here. I'm very excited that she is here so she can announce with one. Miss Lucan, would you like to talk about your student that you nominated? Yes, Cyrus, Cyrus Navis. Um, he is an amazing student. He came to my class in period, I'm sorry, quarter three, and he's a very hard worker. He is my, my um, assistant when I need one. He helps other kids out in the class when they're struggling. Um, he did a great job for me on Friday. He helped me on Friday where he was my assistant, so it was great. <laughs> I'm very proud of Osiris. Love having him in our class. He really is. He, he takes his schoolwork seriously. He's always present for class, participates, and helps others when, when needed. And like I said, he is a pleasure to have in class. Congratulations, Cyrus. Thank you very, very much, Ms. Lucan. Ms. Lucan, the floor is back to you. So, Ms. Lucan, would you like to talk about the next student that you nominated? 
Carlos, Carlos uh, Garcia. I know Mr. Redmond can vouch for me with this. He Carlos is in our first period class. He is amazing. Um, he did a total 180 from the beginning of the year. He was struggling at the beginning of the year, very hard time. Now it's just like math comes to him very quickly. He get, grasps the concept very quickly and he's doing amazing. Um, he's a hard worker. He's always present for class, participates and helps others when needed. He demonstrates to have a great understanding of math concept. Carlos, you are a pleasure to have in class. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Carlos. Miss Lucan, talk about your next student, please. And Noah, Mr. Backer. Noah also, he's a hard worker. He's a total remote student. He works from home, but he even told me, I told him, I'm very proud of you, Noah. He says, I want to graduate. I don't want to do summer school. So I'm very proud of him. He is a hard worker. He's funny. He's respectable. Respectable. Um, he comes to class and he's ready to learn. Um, he always attends. He participates and does his work. He asks questions when he doesn't understand. And like the rest, Noah, it is a pleasure to have in class. Congratulations, Noah. All right, Mr. Mullen, would you like to, is Ms. Grodin? She didn't move response. Ms. Grodin, no. uh, would you like to do Ms. Grodin, Mr. Mullen, please? Sure. Um, so, Emily Hanold, congratulations. Ms. Grodin nominated you because um, you've been one of her most consistent students. She's impressed with your attention to detail and your participation in class and your willingness to help, even from the computer at home, and her determination in your schoolwork. So. It's been a joy for Ms. Groden to have you sharing H period, um, and it's a joy for us at the school to have you as a student. So keep up the great work, Emily. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Mullen. All right, I will speak for Ms. Groden for Diana Reyes, Reyes Andrade. She was nominated by Ms. Grodin because she has been consistently participating in class all year. I appreciate her determination to help move discussion forward. Di Diana, Diana, determination is evident in her work in class. I am impressed. Let's hear it up for Diana Reyes Andrade. Mr. Mullen, back to you, sir. Sure. Um, Caitlin, you were nominated by Ms. Ray Yates because you are always in the Google Meets. You always do your work on time, and it is such a pleasure to have you as a student. So, Caitlin, keep up what you're doing, and um, you're doing great. Good job. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Mullen. All right. I will talk about Jefferson Baneas Gallo. Nominated by Ms. Rady Yates because he has always participating in Google Meets, does his work, and is always on time. He's a pleasure to have in school, hybrid, as he always answers and asks questions. Let's hear it up for Jefferson. Okay, Mr. Mullen, would you like to talk about Ruben for Ms. Rady Yates? Absolutely. Ruben, Ms. Rady Yates nominated you because you always participate in your in your meets, which is awesome. Um, you will answer and ask questions and you do your work on time while being polite and kind. So Ruben, keep it up and keep moving forward. Great job. All right, Stephanie Rodriguez, nominated by Miss Grodin because she is definitely on a roll this semester. Miss Birdball, and I are so impressed with her determination and dedication to her hard work. As Stephanie arrives to class ready to learn, actively participates, and does great work independently. Thank you, Stephanie, for being awesome this semester. Let's hear it up for Stephanie Rodriguez. Oh, Miss Moriarty, this is your student. Would you like to speak about your student, please? I would love to. I just want to say one more time to Niasia, what a beautiful job. It's so great to see you and you're so talented. Um, yes, I nominated Kaylee because she's an awesome student. She shows up to class on the Google Meets, she unmutes to participate, 
and she contributes in a lot of different ways. She always has a positive attitude, never grumpy, never says I don't feel like it, even though she must have days like that, like we all do. She stays focused, she completes all of her assignments. She's been on a roll since September. She just hasn't stopped. And she's really a role model for all students. And it's such a pleasure to have her in my class. It really is. If it's one of the high points of my day when she gets on and says, Kaylee's here, it really is. So keep up the good work, Kaylee, and congratulations. Ms. Moriarty brought a tear to my eye. This is, uh, you know, this might be a good place to stop it at. This was amazing. So thank you, Ms. Moriarty. So love to hear somebody that's been doing the right thing all year. Love to hear that as well. So, all right. Mr. Mullen, would you like to talk about Priscilla? And I'll add on since I have Priscilla as well, too. So, absolutely. Priscilla, great job for being nominated. Ms. Rady Yates says that Priscilla is always doing the right thing, she always participates in Google Meets and always make sure to ask how her day's been. Um, ask, she also asks and answers questions all the time. So she always does her work and, and on time and she's just overall a great student. So Priscilla, absolutely awesome to keep it up. I agree with everything that was said. Priscilla is in my H period class and she is the shining light for H period where it's the end of the day. So everything that was said times a million for Priscilla. So congratulations, Priscilla. All right, I will talk about France Lee Mara Diaga for Miss Radiates. She is nominated because she is always doing the right thing. She is always on time for her meets, ask questions and answer questions, and her work is always on time, and she is polite and respective. Thank you, France Lee. Let's hear it up for France, France Lee Mara Diaga. Now, I, I have to say something. This is one gentleman I love to hear what's going to come out of Mr. Ghost's mouth every single time. So, Mr. Ghost, the floor is absolutely yours for your student. Oh, well, well thank you for that introduction. No pressure there. <laughs> <Yes>. um, <laughs> uh, uh, Jaden is just a, a wonderful student. Um, she, she came last year right before COVID kind of hit in. Um, and then obviously we've we've been she's been hybrid uh, or remote I'm sorry um, for most of this year and despite you know not having as much physical contact with the new with her the Fallsburg community Jaden has become such an essential member um, of all the classes that she's in I'm sure and and I can speak to her ability um, in in my speech class and in my ELA class she she works hard. Um, she puts her full effort into all of the assignments and the work. And uh, aside from all that, she is just like a shining light. She is a beautiful person, as are, I'm sure, all of these people, um, all, all of these fine students here at Fallsburg. She, she's a wonderful young woman who, who has a bright, shining future ahead of her and very proud of all of her efforts. Congratulations, Jaden. Thank you, Mr. Ghost. Mr. Mullen, would you like to talk about Miss Beebe's nomination? Sure. <laughs> Jose, who I also know pretty well, um, is nominated by Miss Beebe because he's always been working hard all year long, making sure he does the best on every assignment, asking questions when he has them, and providing an excellent providing an excellent role model for the other students in class. So great job, Jose, and keep working hard. Good job. Our next nomination by Ms. Beebe is Mr. Christian Diaz. He was nominated by Ms. Beebe because he has shown much growth since the beginning of the school year. He has been working hard, completing his assignments, and asking questions when he has them. Let's all hear it up for Mr. Christian Diaz. Another Mr. one. Would you like to talk about, yes, would you like to talk yeah. about Jose for Miss Beebe? Sure, Jose Alvarado Castro, um, nominated by Miss Beebe because he's a hard worker that has shown improvement throughout the year. He always does his work, answers questions, and provides an excellent role model for his peers. 
which I can attest to because he is also in one of our classes with myself and Miss Moriarty. And he is, he, he turns his camera on, he'll participate if called on, um, and uh, just keep up the good work, Jose, keep it going. Okay, first of all, um, first of all, I, I know myself, Ms. Mullen, and he can chime in when he wants to. I need to first of all thank Dr. Sharkey, Mr. Roddy, Ms. Brussel for allowing us to put together this presentation to you. Um, we couldn't be prouder of the students that were on this list. We are exceptionally proud as the PBIS team, um, and we hope that we do many more of these in the future. To my colleagues that I work with, I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are so amazing for these nominations. So we couldn't do this without you guys nominating. Um, I'm gonna also give a big, big shout out to Miss Niaja Harris. Thank you again, Niaja. You have made me as your coach, teacher, mentor, whatever I've been to you in all capacities, you have made me more proud than you ever know. And I would love the students to see that this is what Fallsburg graduates can become. This is the potential that is in front of them. You were always solid, but you just brought it to another level once you left Fallsburg. And it's very, very proud to see. And I know Ms. Moriarty, Mr. Ghost, who has all had you, could probably agree with everything that we're saying. You have a personality that we will never, ever forget. Um, and um, please, guys, if you do, promote her. She's on YouTube. Support her in any way that you can. It's Niaja Chanel. That's her thing on YouTube. Go watch her video. She's amazing in them. I watched one of them yesterday. Um, Smash the subscribe button. Like <laughs> it. Before I turn the microphone over to anybody, Dr. Sharkey, Mr. Roddy, anything you would like to say before Ms. Brussel gives her closing remarks? I want to thank you, uh, Mr. Redmond, for putting this together. This is You've got such a positive energy, and it's so nice, again, to recognize uh, these students, um, because everybody deserves a little recognition. So thank you all for your efforts, for the teachers, for nominating. And you've got this uh, positive, infectious energy, Mr. Redmond, and I really appreciate it. Well, Mr. Mullen, as my co-PBIS coordinator, anything you'd like to say? Oh, I just, uh, just to piggyback off you, you know, to, to show Niaja and to bring her on, I think that's awesome. And made my day happier because I love hearing people sing and it was great. Um, but uh, yeah, once you get on a roll, guys, you can keep that thing rolling. And, um, you know, one, once you're, once you, uh, and you can start and continue rolling from now until um, the end, which is a long time away, but you, you can do anything. And um, as long as you put the work in, um, which you guys have seen that you started putting more work in and you've been and you've been doing well in school You can do well in life and, and just keep up the great work and thank you again to everybody that's on here um, that has um, um, Participated and gave us uh, some nominations because it, it really helps out and it and it helps uh, Improve the positive behaviors around the school. Thank you guys very much. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Mullen. Any of my colleagues that I work with want to say any final remarks before we have the best closer in the game? Ms. Russell is going to take us out. Anybody, any of my colleagues that would like to say anything? Niaja, would you like to say any parting words before I turn it over to Ms. Russell? Oh, I just want to say thank you, Redmond, for bringing me on. Thank you guys so much for having me today. Um, congrats to all the recipients of today. Keep going. Keep working hard. Um, I love being in, in school, so I just love seeing that people are working hard just to be better and be better students. So congrats to you all, and thank you guys so much for today. <laughs> thank you. All right, Ms. Russell, the floor is yours, and you can take us out. Thank you, Mr. Redmond. And I want to start just by echoing everyone else's closing thoughts just to really thank Dr. Sharkey and Mr. Roddy and the PBIS team for being able to put an event like this together. I know it's, you know, we've said before, it's different when it's a remote event, but it's something that we wanted to make sure to bring to you to really celebrate you guys, the students. You are the ones that we are here to honor and recognize today for all of the fantastic work that you have done over quarter three, and now we're right in the middle of quarter four. So make sure to keep being on a roll, do 
everything that you've been doing to earn this award and keep going. Don't use this as an opportunity. Oh, I got an award, you know, I'm done. No, take the last five weeks and really push forward and keep doing the fantastic, wonderful work that you have been doing. So you can end this year on a high note and so that you can feel fully accomplished and ready to enjoy whatever comes, you know, your way in the summer and the fall of next year. Again, I'm, I'm, you know, I've only been here since the beginning of this year, but I'm so thankful to the PBIS community that we have here because I really feel that the teachers and the, the staff are really committed to making sure that we have a positive, you know, safe, enjoyable place to come to a school, to come and learn and to, you know, collaborate with your classmates and work together to really be successful. So thank you to, again, to PBIS for all that you do and will continue to do. And Thank you again to all of the teachers for taking that extra moment to nominate somebody that you've seen be on a roll because that is what makes our students successful and continue to push forward is that little bit of extra recognition for when they're doing the right thing. So please keep nominating and supporting PBIS. Students keep doing everything that you're doing. Have a wonderful rest of the day and enjoy the beautiful weather. Um, when you're able to. It's a great day for a celebration. So thank you everybody for coming. Lovely to see you, all of you and have a wonderful afternoon. And Ms. before Ms. Russell, just to let you guys know, um, P, uh, PBIS will be sending certificates to your house plus a t-shirt that we're getting made specifically for you uh, re award recipients. So it will be in the mail. If you're in person, we will get it to you. Between myself and Yvette, we will figure it out. So again, thank you. and. Ms. Russell couldn't say any better. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye.